hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new we have got another what's for dinner for you guys i'm sharing all the meals that we had this past week they are super easy and delicious today's video is extra special because it is a collaboration hosted by my good friend kat over at southern farm and kitchen she is hosting a springtime collab so i will have the playlist linked down below and i will also have her channel linked down below so make sure y'all go over give her some love and go check out the playlist you're going to get all kinds of meal and inspiration from the playlist so make sure you check out all the other collaborators that are joining in let's go ahead and get started We are starting off this week with actually leftovers. Um, here is the spread. I cooked a big Sunday lunch after church last Sunday, and we had a ton of leftovers from that. So we just kind of picked what we wanted to, and we just had leftovers for Sunday night. A little bit of everything. I will be sharing these recipes in upcoming videos, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that. On a Monday night, I wasn't feeling too good, so I kept it simple, and I just did a frozen sheet pan dinner, as I called it. <laughs> um, I had one more bag of the red bag chicken breast. Those came from Aldi. Y'all know I absolutely love those. Also had some buns in the freezer. I pulled out and thawed those out. We had a little bit of french fries left, some tater tots, and we had like five mozzarella sticks left from a previous dinner that we had had a couple weeks ago. So I just pulled everything out, kind of did like a mod podge, put it all in the sheet pan, and just cooked it all in the oven. I decided to heat up some bacon to go on our chicken sandwiches. I just used a pack of that ready bacon and I just heated it up on my little griddle there. I do have this griddle linked in my Amazon storefront. That link is in the description box if you're interested. I absolutely love that thing. I use it so much. It's ridiculous. <laughs> It's like the perfect size to just pull out and cook something. Um, so I'm just going to heat that on there. Of course, you can do it in the microwave, but I like that it kind of renders off some of that fat. And then I used the bacon grease to toast up our buns. And here is our spread. We've got the rest of the fries, a few tater tots, the chicken patties, and I laid out different cheese options, sauce options, um, some marinara, little condiments. I just keep those in a basket in my prepper pantry. We have got a little bit of everything, our toasted buns. That did so good with that bacon grease. It was delicious. <laughs> the bacon and then the mozzarella sticks. A little bit of everything out. And then for my sandwich, I decided to do mayonnaise, um, Swiss cheese, bacon, and I added some honey mustard on there, and it was delicious. Next up is French onion bake. I have shared this before on my channel, but it has been a while. I do have a recipe for this, so I'll have it linked down below for you guys in case you're interested and want the full recipe. So I have just got um, one whole onion there that I have just sliced thin, and I've just cooked it down in some butter with some salt and pepper. And then I'm just cooking up my ground beef, and then we're going to add, um, I'm doing a double batch, so that's why I have two packets of brown gravy mix. But you'll add in brown gravy, and then also add in Worcestershire and so once you get your ground beef cooked drain it add in the water that it calls for for the packets and then add in your brown gravy packets add in your worcestershire and then you're just going to mix that up and then the brown gravy is going to you know thicken and uh, mix together with the cooked ground beef and then you will add that onto your crescents 
once your meat and gravy mixture is nice and thick, you're going to grease a 9 by 13 baking pan and add in your can of crescents. Just kind of crimp, you know, the the seams. I personally love to use crescent dough sheets, but I have been hard, having a hard time finding those recently. Um, so I just use crescents when I can't find the crescent dough sheets. So either works just as good. I was having such a hard time opening these cans. I was really struggling y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but I finally got it open and then I'm just going to lay that down. We will add in our meat mixture on top of that, top it with our onions, top it with provolone cheese, and then put that other can of crescents right on top. Once you get that top crescent on there, you're just going to bake this at 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's nice and golden brown and bubbly around the edges. I'm telling y'all it is so delicious. Definitely need to give this one a try. We served it with some cold pork and beans and some wavy chips. Next up is taco chicken and rice. This recipe I will be sharing in tomorrow's crockpot recipe video, so y'all stay tuned for that. We finally got some springy weather towards the end of the week, so Luke stopped and got some ribeye steaks and some hot dogs to put on the grill. He seasoned the steaks up with that 1836 rub. That link will be in my Amazon storefront as well. Um, we also had some mac and cheese to go with it. Y'all, these were delicious. I'm so, so ready for more spring and summer weather. Here is everything. We have our mac and cheese, our buns and condiments. We've got the hot dogs and the steaks. Okay, 
On Friday night, we went out to eat at Mellow Mushroom with some family. We got our normal, which is the Funky Q with a swirl of ranch. And then they tried a new pizza, which was, I think it was called a Holy Shiitake Pie. And it was different kinds of mushrooms with caramelized onions and a bunch of different cheeses. They said it was so good. Luke said it was his new favorite. Y'all know I didn't try it because that's not something that I like. But they all loved it. So if you have a Mellow Mushroom near you and you like mushrooms and onions give that one a try last but not least we are doing some grilled burgers to go along with that i'm going to make some corn pudding i have been making this for years and it is super delicious i love this recipe it is super easy you just need a box of jiffy mix a can of regular corn drained, a can of cream style corn, and then you need the milk and the egg that it calls for in the Jiffy Mix. I just mix it all together, dump it in my greased um, casserole pan, bake it at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. You just want like a toothpick to come out clean. And I'm telling y'all, it is so easy to put together and it is delicious. also did some potatoes to go along with this so i took and cut up a few um, golden potatoes i just washed them really good cut them with the skins on and then i'm adding about a half of a stick of melted butter on there i'm also going to add a little bit of a drizzle of olive oil i think you could do either or or do a mixture like i did and then i sprinkled it really good with some dry ranch i didn't use the whole packet i just kind of you know that's one of those things like i always say season with your heart um it's gonna just depend on how many potatoes you end up using um i just sprinkled it mixed it together added a little more if needed i just wanted them to be coated really well and then i just put some foil on these and baked these in the oven at 350 I'm covered for about 20 minutes and then I uncovered them for the last 10 minutes and I have to say these were really really good I didn't have a recipe I was just like you know what I just want some sort of a potato but I want it different and these were really good they had really good flavor and but they were also light they weren't like a heavy side dish and with it with it being a potato it was still like a light side dish I don't know it was weird but it was really really good While those were in the oven, Luke was outside cooking up the burgers and the brats. The brats don't take near as long to cook, so we actually like ate a few, which honestly, we were hangry while we were making dinner, so it was probably best that we had a little snack before we actually sat down to eat dinner. <laughs> we were all like biting each other's heads off. Here is the brand of brats that we um, picked up. They were really, really good. That was the first time I had tried the pepper jack ones. Here is the seasonings that he used on the burgers. There's the brats before we killed them. <laughs> and then here are the potatoes. They were so good, y'all. Here's our spread. We got our buns, our condiments. I just kind of laid everything out. Our burgers. There is the corn pudding. And the potatoes. This was super delicious. A great way to end this week of meals. And that is it y'all that wraps up this week's what's for dinner video i really hope you enjoyed these super easy and delicious recipes just remember it doesn't have to be fancy just as long as your family is fed don't forget that this video was a collaboration hosted by kat over at southern farm and kitchen i will have her channel and the playlist linked in the description box below so y'all can go check out all of the dinner inspiration your little heart desires there will be so much i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys